Ooh, okay. Holy cow, that is absolutely creepy there. What is that? Um, that looks like a dire wolf of some sort. That is super freaky. So, uh, hey everyone, it is Jackal Wolf coming at you with a, another five minutes. That's how I did it. In MC Eternal, I am a little bit off, uh, but this is a perfect uh, example of what we're going to work on today. Uh, as you can see, it is nighttime around my base, and I have got an absolute ton of mobs just assaulting me from, like, every single direction. So, what we're going to do, if you've been following along, you know that we've been working on uh, our way through the quest book. Uh, last episode, we did the best friends forever. We you know, sort of uh, crafted up our uh, MC Wolfie companion, which is absolutely uh, wonderful. Uh, but there's some mobs out here that MC Wolfie just cannot take care of. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to go and we're going to build ourselves some base defenses. Now, this is the tier one uh, potato launcher. It is very, very simple to make. Uh, but before we do that, we're actually going to do a couple of other things just to kind of clean them up. Uh, uh, and to make them uh, easy to use. So we've got the crafting table on a stick uh, and the 16 ladder uh, advancements, which are, you know, quite simple to do. So let's come up here. Uh, to do the crafting table on a stick, we simply need a crafting table and a sign in our in our crafting table that gets us a crafting table on a stick. We also end up getting an actually additions manual. Uh, we won't need to worry about that one for a little while. I love the crafting table on a stick, especially early on, before you get like your wireless, uh, you know, controllers and stuff like that, uh, and wireless, um, storage systems which you can craft automatically from it but early game crafting table on the stick is so easy to make and it's so nice to have with you uh you could be mining and suddenly need a furnace and there you go you can go make yourself a furnace uh and you don't have to put it down you don't have to put it down it only takes up the one slot is super super handy uh one of the first things i always build in a world uh when it's you know available uh next up is going to be that 16 ladder so i've got enough here for 18 ladders i mean you could make three per ladder. I mean, we don't really have much choice. Uh, to make a ladder is simply your seven pieces of stick in a crafting table. Gets you three ladders each. There you go. We've got our quest complete 16 ladder. It says 15 down there. As soon as we pop out, it becomes 18. That is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So what we're going to do is really quickly is we're going to click on the crafting table, get our 50 monies, and then we're going to click on the ladder, get our 75 monies and a loot reward. Eight pieces of obsidian. That's actually pretty good. At some point, we're going to have to go to the nether. Uh, so that's a little bit of mining that I do not have to do, which is pretty good. I don't mind that at all. Now, the reason I wanted to do these uh, ladders as part of this episode uh, is one of the best places for the turret is going to be the roof. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go place these down here. We're going to break that block there and... There we go. We're going to place that up top. Now, you might be saying, why is that an advancement in the book? Why is making the ladders? That's super, super vanilla. If you look at the description, right click with an empty hand to teleport to the top or bottom of a ladder. So uh, that is really what it's there for. It's there to remind us that we've got this neat little trick. Empty hand, right click, and we're right at the top. From the top, right click, and we're right at the bottom. So super safe you know being on a ladder there's no chance of you falling off which is really really nice especially when it's you know really really tall but that is you know super simple that is exactly what we want uh next up what we need to do is build ourselves a turret now to make a tier one turret we are first going to need a tier one sensor to make a tier one sensor it is four pieces of redstone and a wood plank gets us that sensor then we're going to take that tier one sensor, put it into a crafting table with four planks and four cobblestone, gets us a tier one turret base. Now, as you can tell, tier one obviously implies that you can level these up, and that's definitely something we're going to be doing in the future. Uh, but for now, the tier one is going to be the best one for us. Next up, what we're going to do is work on the actual turret itself. Uh, to do that, we are going to need a chamber. To make a chamber, it is a wood plank, a piece of redstone, and six cobblestone. We're also going to need two barrels. Now, this is going to change based on uh, the different types of turrets you have. Uh, to make the potato turret, we're going to need two barrels, uh, which is six cobblestone and one wood plank. And then we're going to go have to take the two barrels, the chamber, 
four cobblestone and two redstone that gets us our potato cannon turret now this is you know a tier one turret so it's not super super good does 1.5 hearts of damage uh accuracy is medium ammo type is potato uh there is another turret in the uh tier one level and that is the disposable item turret uh very similar to the other one it only requires one barrel uh but if we take a look at it uh, the accuracy is low uh the range is low on it the ammo type c config file so i i think you could pretty much throw anything you want in there uh and it will fire it out does one heart damage so not as much uh and the shots per second is a little bit quicker than the potato gun but i think overall the potato gun is definitely the best way to go tier one so that is all well and good. We now need a way to power these. These do require a redstone power. Uh, luckily for the tier one turrets, we can actually just use a basic turret uh, hand crank. Uh, it is super simple to make. It is five pieces of cobblestone and we can actually go and crank up the turret and, you know, basically place it and, you know, make it work. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top we've luckily we got these little bits of overhang here which is absolutely perfect let's go and oh this is uh not gonna work the way i wanted it to There we go. Okay. I was, uh, I wasn't too sure I was going to be able to do that. Uh, this is going to give us a good range on the turret. See, there's a creeper over there. If we go place the turret down on the front, it's going to have a pretty good range up here. Uh, we're going to take the hand crank. Let's just throw it right on the top. So shift click. Nope, not my torches. Take those torches out of my offhand. Click. So for some reason, it's not letting me put it into the top. But uh, when I tested this earlier, I actually put it right here. Uh, and then I was able to put the crank into the side. So maybe the cranks can only go into the side. But we're going to go and right click that. And you can see the power is slowly going up. And we're going to go keep on going. There you go. It is full. It will let you keep spinning it. You're not actually helping anything, so I wouldn't worry about it. Next up is we're going to need a little bit of ammo. Now, this is a potato gun that is going to require some potatoes. I think he's moving out of range. That is too bad, uh, but uh, we don't have potatoes in our world. But luckily, the quest does give us some potatoes. So uh, we've got our three pieces here. We got that uh, quest. So 32 potatoes, 50 monies, and another loot reward. Eight lapis. Uh, not the best of the rewards I've gotten, but you know what? I will take it. It is perfect. And let's go and open this up. This is where we can configure our turret. Uh, we can put the ammo in. I'm going to leave it off for a second. We've got our modes. So right now it is non-inverted, always on, always off, inverted, non-inverted. So we're just going to leave this to always on. Next up, we can configure the bases configuration. So this is going to tell it what to uh, attack. Attack mobs, yes. Attack neutrals. So if we had a neutral mob, uh, we could turn that on or off. I'm going to leave it off for now. Uh, attack players. This would be if you've got them on like a multiplayer server and you want to keep other players away. You could go yes or no. And then you can list some trusted players uh, this is not a server this is just a you know a single one player world so that's not going to make a difference for me uh target uh is single target is multi so uh, again this changes the turret should shoot uh, i believe one shot or multiple shots at a time if you shoot multiple ones you're obviously going to have uh, less accuracy drop base drop turrets this is how you break this up you don't use a um, you know, a tool to break it. What you want it to do is to drop the base or to drop the turrets, especially if you want to upgrade it or something like that. So that is perfect. Let's take eight potatoes. Oh, oh, there you go. It's actually shooting that mob. Did I have it on the passive mobs? No, I guess, I guess that's considered a, a mob then. And I got some fire going on over there. I don't know. Like this, this whole, whole thing is really, really weird. Uh, 
but that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. You see it used up a bunch of those potatoes already. So it's going to go through a absolute ton. Luckily, what we can do is we can go and grow ourselves some potatoes. So uh, that's something I'm going to do outside of this episode. So let me know in the comments below if you guys did this any differently than I did. I would love to hear all the different ways out there uh, there are to get to these advancements. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stop by to say hi. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content and you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters, but that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.